First thing we did was put uh, some Crisco vegetable oil and salt and pepper in our uh, large frying pan. While that's warming up, we slice lengthwise our one and a half chicken breasts. And then as you can see, baby girl's uh, slicing it widthwise. Uh, she's doing uh, dinners with me this week for home ec. Now we put the chicken in the large uh, frying pan on top of the oil. And we're gonna add another layering of salt and pepper. Uh, to make sure that it's evenly seasoned. I don't over season the meat in this dish because the, the sauce uh, really makes it, uh, has a kick actually. Now I'm sprinkling the Crisco uh, on top and then once it's starting to brown on the bottom, I flip it over to make sure that the chicken is cooked evenly. Uh, while that's cooking, I'm gonna put green uh, enchilada sauce in a saucepan and I'm gonna put it on medium to low heat and warm it up slowly. Then we're gonna put our two types of beans, uh, or if you just have the one type of bean, put it in a microwave uh, safe bowl um, with a plate that covers it, uh, cause you're gonna microwave it. Um, now, I'm shredding the chicken. Now, you see it's two <laughs> smaller forks because there's no larger forks, but you can do this with a fork and a knife, or I left it in cubes this time, but you can shred it even further. I'm gonna take the enchilada sauce once it's warmed up a little bit and put a layer uh, at the bottom of my 13 by nine uh, baking pan and roll it around, uh, you know, kind of wiggle it so that the sauce is even. And I'm gonna take the tortillas that we've sliced in half and we're gonna add two to the sides and uh, one at each end. And then we're gonna put two whole um, tortillas in the center. Now I'm gonna add half of the meat that we've shredded or cubed uh, on top of the tortillas. And we wanna make sure we spread it out evenly so that every bite has some chicken. And uh, as you can see, I'm making sure the tortillas don't move around too much and that the chicken's even. Next, we're gonna add our shredded cheese. Now, we use Colby Jack, but you could do uh, Mexican shredded cheese or cheddar, but uh, we found that we like uh, Colby Jack. Uh, the, we like that the most out of all the different types. And you sprinkle that liberally on top of the chicken, uh, making sure that it's an even layer of cheese. Once again, so you're getting the proper ratio so that every time you bite it, you've got the cheese and the chicken. And you can see the the first layer is done. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the tortillas. I'm gonna put the flat sides on the, toward the edges, uh, and then put the whole ones in the middle. And we're putting a layer, about half of the remaining green chili sauce on top of the tortillas. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing again that we did with the last layer. And then at the top, put a layer of tortillas. So that's your third layer of tortillas and then shredded cheese on top of that. Now you're ready to go. I had preheated the oven at 350 and I'm going to put the pan in in the center rack um, so that the heat's evenly dispersed and we're gonna uh, bake that for 30 minutes. Now while that's baking, we're going to uh, cut our avocados. We use two um, for the family of four. I usually do that. So you wanna cut your avocado around the edges, open it up uh, and cut it into cubes. If the avocado was a little less ripe, I'd leave it at the cubes and season it. But because it's nice and soft, I can um, make it into a actual like guacamole versus a chopped avocado. I use a small spoon to make sure I get every little bit of avocado out. And this next, uh, there you go, there's our cubes. The next thing I do is take out the core or the seed, excuse me. Um, the hubster taught me how to do that with a larger knife, <laughs> but you use what you can. Do that uh, to do the whole avocado, then you're gonna cut your lemon slice and uh, you're going to squeeze that lemon on top of uh, the avocado. Make sure you're getting all that juice out there and do the same with the second avocado. And then we're gonna add our salt and pepper. And then um, I usually put garlic, but we're out of it. So salt and pepper did the trick, no problem. You're gonna chop at it, and once it starts to soften, you're gonna smush it. You see that there? Oh boy, and it's tasty. You put the, uh, the seed back in the guacamole so it stays fresh. Now once the, um, the enchiladas have started to brown, you're gonna take them out and move the, the rack to the top rack. If you've already arranged the racks like that, you're, you're ahead of the game. Um, so we're gonna take those enchiladas, put them back in at a, a broil until it's evenly brown. We cut, had the baby girl to dice up some tomatoes and lettuce. And here's our finished uh, enchiladas with all our sides. Voila!